this video, I will be demonstrating three major ways to roast garlic. The first is poaching in oil like this. The second is roasting in tin foil while the cloves are loose. And the third is roasting a whole head in tin foil. But first, a quick science lesson on why you're going to roast garlic in the first place. Garlic, like onions, is a member of the Allium genus, which is part of the lily family. Now, the edible portion of both the onions and garlic and most of the Allium family, like uh, shallots and leeks, grow under ground and are usually come in some sort of bulb form, especially with garlic. Now, unlike other root vegetables that store their energy in the form of starch, the Allium genus store their energy for next year's growing season in the form of fructose sugars. Now, the strong, pungent flavor of raw onions and garlic is a defense mechanism there to deter animals from eating the plant. It's a survival mechanism because if the bulb is eaten, then the plant won't be able to reproduce next year and it ends the plant's life cycle. Now, that strong aroma is actually caused by sulfur that's pulled from the soil and it activates and this is what gives you that really strong flavor and makes your eyes burn. What happens is garlic will store the sulfur compounds separately from an enzyme and when the cell walls are ruptured the enzyme will split the sulfur molecules and start a chemical reaction that causes an irritating aroma and a very pungent flavor. Now when heat is applied to the garlic or onions the sulfur compounds start to break down and the fructose chains will start to caramelize giving it a roasted sweet flavor. So sometimes you want that pungent garlic flavor other times you want a more roasted sweet flavor, which caramelized onions, shallots, leeks, and garlic, all members of the Allium genus, can offer when heat is applied over long periods of time. Now your first option for roasting garlic is whole cloves like this with a little bit of canola oil or olive oil, but canola oil is more neutral, so if you want to taste olive oil, add that. You're going to season with a little bit of kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper. And here I have some tin foil that I layered twice, and that's going to help uh, diffuse the heat a little bit more and roast the garlic more evenly. I'm going to toss it around and I'm going to tent it up, almost making like a Hershey Kiss style structure. And this tenting and wrapping in the foil is going to diffuse the heat when I place it into an oven. And this oven's at about 400 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to let roast for about an hour. Now your second option is to take whole peeled garlic cloves and put them into a sauce pot and cover with canola oil. And here I like to use a neutral oil like canola because the garlic will also infuse into the oil during the roasting process. And so here I have it over a, a high flame. And then once you start to see the uh, simmering happen, that's because the uh, garlic is releasing water into the oil, I'm going to reduce it down to a low flame and let it rock for about 45 minutes. And at the end of the 45 minute time, you're going to notice that the garlic is starting to turn a nice golden brown and it's going to become nice and tender just like that. Now at this point you can strain off the garlic and in your strainer you're going to have some nice roasted garlic that you can use for any recipe that calls for roasted garlic. And at the bottom you're going to have some beautiful uh, garlic infused oil that you can use for cooking or making a vinaigrette. Now after an hour let's check on our previous garlic that's in the foil. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the oven. And even before you open it, you should be able to smell the roasted uh, garlic in there. And you can see that it's nice, even, golden brown all the way through. And this is going to be great for sauces. You can turn this into a roasted garlic puree. You can add to mashed potatoes, any number of things. Now, a more common way to roast garlic is to pull out a sheet of tin foil. And here you're going to roast the whole head. And the way you're going to do this is by cutting off the top of the garlic and you're going to sprinkle with a little bit of canola oil or olive oil depending upon your preference and then season with salt and pepper and wrap in the foil. You're going to tent it just like you did before with the freestanding or the already peeled garlic cloves and roast it again for about an hour in a 450 degree to uh, 500 degree oven. Now after about an hour roasting time again you're going to be able to smell the aroma of the garlic remove from the hot oven and you're going to check it just by opening up the foil. Now when you open up the foil, the steam released uh, should smell nice and sweet and roasted, almost nutty and have that nice golden brown flavor. And if you still smell raw garlic, which will be easy to, to detect, then you want to roast it for a little bit longer. Now the easiest way to attack this is using a fork to pull the garlic out of the head that's nice and roasted. And this is traditionally spread on some bread to sort of make a uh, roasted garlic bread. Now, if you have questions or comments or need more information on this episode, head on over to stellaculinary.com slash KP12.